This is a unit. This is a uh, 3,000 uh, watt um, DC. The nice thing about this is pure sine wave. So um, the difference between pure sine wave and modified is if you were looking on a wave um, oscillator type machine, the wave actually is you know uniform. On a modified, it actually square, so it goes down and it's square, and so that little bit that gets cut off there can cause issues with your, um, especially your sensitive, um, delicate type of uh, equipment. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn the unit on. You got an on-off switch here, okay? So I can turn that on here, and then it just uh, sort of cycles through and comes up with its uh, voltage. Um, then. Uh, you also have a remote switch. So this is the remote switch, but the remote switch doesn't do anything if it's turned on here. So you gotta turn this off, and then the remote will work. Um, so you can turn it off and on with the remote that way. So um, just be aware of that. So I've got the remote plugged in here. Um, remember, you have to have this in the off position on the box itself and then the remote works. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Um, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this uh, little tester in here just to show you that um, when we actually get power there. So turn it on. We got a blue light. It's just come up to speed and the light came on. When you're running an inverter, it does not have a grounding field or anything and so it'll always show an open ground, so this is perfectly normal. Okay. The important thing with an inverter is that it's grounded to the frame, and I have that grounded here, Coming, this is my ground coming from the frame, and it's actually grounded to the outside of the inverter. Also, the green wire that is the ground on the direct connect is wired into my ground bar on my transfer box. Using this inverter to make our lives a lot easier as we're traveling and boondocking. So we'll see how that works as we go along. Talk to you later. Bye.